everybody, welcome back to Forget About It TV. I'm Dio. I'm Jamelia. I'm Saima. And I'm Samir. And welcome back. Today we are, uh, as you can see, we've got a different uh, set going on. Because it looks more, we went for a dinner party vibe. Because today we were discussing the age old question What's your dinner party? Dead or alive? Three people, you and three, us, one of us, and three other people that we would just want to talk to, listen to, have a conversation with. And I think, Saima, what do you think? What do you want to start with? My dinner party. Oh my goodness. Okay. This answer, I don't know what you guys think of this answer, but the people that I would have at my dinner party would be Harry Styles, Zayn, <laughs> why not? Why not? Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, and his girlfriend, Gigi Hadid. Because there's so much drama that has happened in like the past. With, between Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid, there's been a lot of drama in the past like one, two months. And then with Zayn Malik and Harry Styles, there's been a lot of drama in the past couple of like five years. And I would want to know everything. Except the problem is that I probably wouldn't be able to keep it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would leak everything. I would leak everything. <laughs> I would leak everything. I'm not to be trusted. So and Zayn and Zayn Malik and Harry Styles, they were also part of One Direction. Yeah, they, they were they were in the same band, right? And right. then after they like disbanded, mm -hmm. Zayn was like, yeah, like I never really talked to him and stuff. <laughs> Even though like they were probably really close because he spent like five years with that person, right, in the band. True. And he was like, yeah, we weren't close. And yeah, and I just mean, I need to know what happened. How did how did how did that conversation go? How, like when they broke up. It's just, I need to know. That's why it's awesome. Jamelia, what do you think? Okay, so if I had to choose three people, mm -hmm. I would choose Dave, Doja Cat, and one of my friends. Um, I feel like there's a lot that we could talk about. You already know they're both musicians, <laughs> so while me and my friend are like having insightful conversations, you can join, you can be my friend. I can be the friend. Okay. While me and Diam are having insightful conversation, they'll be performing for us, you know? And I think that's a really good dynamic. <laughs> yeah, see, that, what's going to happen is Dave and Doja Cat are going to come on to the, come to the dinner party, and then we're going to be like, okay, now sing. sing. <laughs> that's your purpose. Yeah, yeah. And we're talking, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, for mine, uh, I went more with people that I admire in, in different fields I, and are actually important. I respect that. Okay. Doja Cat's very important to exactly. me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love about? that. Black people are very important. Exactly. Yeah. And Harry Styles is cool. Yeah, he's yeah. a cool guy. Uh, insane. But for insane. mine... Insane. 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 And for mine, uh, I'm going with James Baldwin, who is a writer and civil rights activist, who I absolutely love his writing and the way he injected sort of poetic nature into everything, even when he's talking about, um, you know, racism and systemic violence and things like that. I'm also going to go with Jean-Luc Godard, who is a French director from the 60s, uh, but he, he, ha he, there was something about his movies that really inspire me in a very, uh, in a way that you can only really understand if you, by watching his movies. Like, it, it's, it's a quality that can't really, really be put into words, which is why cinema exists as an art form. And third, I'm going to go with uh, Tupac. Uh, hip hop and rap has been one of my um, favorite uh, things in in life. It's been an obsession of mine for the last however many years. And Tupac had a special quality to him, where he wasn't the most lyrical, lyrical guy, but he was able to kind of play both sides of the hard, violent aggressive rap stuff, but also be a sort of a hood poet, which uh, I think would be fun. And all, you know, I think a conversation with all three of those guys would be fun. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's sick. Amazing. What I would do, uh, when I thought about this question, I, I want to choose someone inspirational, an overachiever. <laughs> and so the person I chose firstly is Serena Williams. So Ooh. when you think of Serena Williams, you guys might be like, who's Serena Williams? You live under a rock if you ask that. Very true. <laughs> Anyways, Serena Williams, overachiever, worked so hard her entire life, and still after she had a child, went back to the sport of tennis. Isn't that crazy, guys? Like, mm -hmm. She worked so hard her entire life, and that's why she's at the top. Went back and won, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I actually, after Serena, I follow it up with another athlete, and I'd probably choose Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. Another very inspirational player, Kobe Bryant taught 
the people after him, what hard work is really like. And so, like, I, I think I saw in the interview, like, this guy didn't even listen to freaking music. He would just, like, listen to, like, motivational stuff. Mm -hmm. So, that's the type of people I want at my dinner, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get motivated and, like, at this dinner afterwards, I'm going to start a business or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These guys, all, all the insight together is going to make me a, a better person. My last person would probably be, let me think about this for one second, I'd probably choose like Morgan Freeman or something. Mm -hmm. Switch up the dynamics, still a hard worker, but more in the arts, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, those, those would be my three, three people. I just took in, they're all black, but you know, that just shows that they worked harder than everyone else. Yeah. 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 Also, I'm kind of cheating, but uh, instead of Tupac, I could also Ken say Kendrick Lamar. I just came. I just that just came to me while he was talking. I was like, oh, "That's kind of cheating." But sorry. Um, yeah, uh, that's gonna be our show. Uh, we hope you guys uh, enjoyed our picks. Had a, a fun time listening to us muse about our uh, intellectual fantasies. Um, if you want to watch more of our content, you you can find us at Region Park Focus on Instagram, castleflavor.blogspot.com at .ca at uh, our website for our articles and reach your part focus on YouTube. Have a great, have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all of our social media platforms. For more information, check out our website. Thank you.